Yo guys, what's going on? My name is Garrett, back with another YouTube video. And instead of going and recording a leg day today, I wanted to make a video about how I would go about losing a little bit of fat. And the reason I wanted to make this video is because I got a Snapchat memory that pulled up on my phone today when I was sitting in work and it was a picture on my last cut and this was last winter and I'm used to cutting weight during the winters because I was a wrestler in high school and cutting weight for that and then I don't know I've always been used to cutting weight basically since then um, during the winters and I was thinking about going on a little bit of a weight cut to see if I can get you know more lean even though I don't look you know bad right now I'm still holding a little bit of extra belly fat that I don't really want and it would look better with it off but given that I'm working on my strength I'm not really trying to do that but I wanted to share with you guys what I would do if I was trying to lose a little bit of weight and you know obviously there's basic things I could talk about going in a caloric deficit getting more exercise talk about fasting um, all of those things. I'm sure you guys have heard plenty of videos about that, but I'm just going to talk about the way I go about cutting a little bit of weight and losing a little bit of fat. Um, first thing, first thing that I'll note, I have never tracked my macros in my life. I don't track macros because I feel like I would become obsessive over it. And, you know, I just do this for fun. I do this because I want to, not because, you know, I'm a bodybuilder or a power lifter or something like that. I just enjoy trying to change my physique and like the process of going about doing that. So I don't track my macros. The only thing that I kind of track in my head is just making sure that I get enough protein during my day. And generally speaking, it's a gram per pound of body weight. And by no means is that exact. I could be 30 or 40 grams short, or I could be 100 grams in a surplus at the end of the day. It just, it's just depending on how I feel, how much I want to eat. And I guess that sort of thing is just what I want to do. But I want to talk about carbs in particular, because I feel like Timing your carbs is an easy way to lose a little bit of belly fat. And I'll explain what I mean by that. And I guess this is a little bit dependent on where when you work out during the day. But for me, this is what I try to do um, if I'm trying to lose a little bit of belly fat. First, just to make it simple, let's say no carbs at all prior to your workout workout post-workout meal you have complex carbs right very simplified explanation of what i'm getting at okay and there's a few caveats in there that i'll mention real quick so if you're going to start doing that and you don't have carbs prior to your workout first off you still need to be able to enjoy your workout so if your workouts are like if you're feeling real flat or you're not getting a good pump or you're just enjoying your workouts a little bit less because your muscles aren't filled with glycogen and you don't have a lot of glycogen in your system, I would say start by adding a little bit of simple, you know, simple carbs, fast acting carbs prior to your workout. Generally speaking, that's like, that's mostly fruit for me. Um, maybe like a muffin or something, something like pretty high in sugar. Um, and that's really just to get me through the workout, just to have a little bit of a better workout and not feel so flat. But when you first start it, you know, your body, your body's going to hold on to more carbs than you're expecting, I would imagine, or at least it does for me. So if I was to start timing my carbs, not having any carbs prior to my workout, I would need to do that for at least one to two weeks before I can actually feel my body physically changing. Like you feel different whether you have carbs in your system or you don't. But simple thing, your body runs on either fat or carbs, okay? 
So during the day, like when I wake up in the morning, if I don't have any carbs in my system and my body, you know, if my body doesn't have any carbs in the system or any carbs to really run on, it's primarily going to be running on fat, okay? And leading up to my workout, I'm inclined to have protein, obviously, because protein intake needs to be up, and then fats. Those are the main two things that I'm going to have. And then go work out, still have no carbs, so your body is still running on fats. And then after my workout, that's when I'll have complex carbs or like a carb-loaded meal, basically. And those will be my carbs for the entire day. And generally speaking, I want to have that post-workout meal at least two hours prior to going to bed. Um, I don't think it's a real good idea to be eating a lot of carbs and then going to bed. I'm pretty sure that's actually hard on your REM cycle or you don't get as much REM when your body is digesting food. I could be wrong about that, but I believe it to be true. Um, and let's say, let's say you do that for one to two weeks and you can notice that you can notice when your body is running on carbs or when it's running on fats, right? And I, like I said, it is a little bit dependent on when you're working out because if you're working out right in the morning, obviously it's pretty easy to just not have carbs in your system. But let's say you're working out in the afternoon. Like this is probably one of the easiest ways to lose a little bit of belly fat. Um, and that's just one thing I wanted to share with you guys rather than going and recording a pretty boring leg workout. Boring to record, but you know, I'm still going to enjoy it, to be honest. Um, still going to go get a lift in, going to go get my heart rate up, do my traditional full body warm up, and then I would imagine steam room and sauna. It snowed today, unexpectedly, and it actually looks pretty pretty outside. Pretty pretty. A fire sounds nice as well, I'm not going to lie. But, um, yeah, start of the weekend, I'll tell you guys about my day real quick. So I woke up this morning um, around 5.30, 5.45, went to work, did two spine cases, two spinal decompressions, and pretty long cases, to be honest, a lot of sitting. Um, so I'm pretty excited to go get a little bit of exercise in. And another thing, if you want to change your body, guys, you have to be consistent with your exercise, with your nutrition, and with your recovery. Those three things. Like it's not, it's not a fast process of changing your body, but like once you're consistent with it, you're off to the races. Okay. So try to be consistent with it, and that's it. Peace.